All right, here we go, guys. And those of you that watched the last video, remember that I was fishing with George Naris, owner operator of a family owned institution, 44 years in Greenport on the North Fork of Long Island, Hellenic snack bar and restaurant. And George is a fantastic chef, actually, has his own YouTube page called A Warehouse Chef. And we thought we would keep some sea robins and uh, experiment a little, and specifically with sea robin roe. The sea robins are in right now in the North Fork spawning, and they're all filled with roe. And you'll see some some shots right now of uh, George getting the roe out. As you're filleting, you'll see big ball sacks of orange. That's the roe. Uh, so so we, we kept about 10 sea robins. We split it up. And uh, myself not being a trained chef, although I, I have years and years of experience of you know, making frozen pizzas and uh, probably hundreds and hundreds of grilled cheese sandwiches um, in the last 25, 30 years. But uh, alas, I'm not a professional, as you'll see here. I, I kept my recipe very simple. I sauteed uh, the sea robin roe. Um, I, I battered it in, in, in some cornmeal, put a little Old Bay on it, and that was probably a mistake. I think the Old Bay overwhelmed uh overwhelmed the the taste of the fish or the roe. It wasn't bad, but I don't know if I'd go through the trouble again. But I would go through the trouble of doing what George did. It it looks amazing. George also um, has a, a bacon recipe with sea robin fillets. Um, and his video came out this morning. I urge you to watch it. It's funny. It's lighthearted. But it's it, it also looks delicious. I mean, he did a, a fantastic job with these sea robins. I don't think they're trash fish. I certainly think if you catch bigger ones... They are worth keeping. Um, and no, this is not turning into a Sea Robin channel. I, I really thought it, you know, it'd be interesting to see the roe and what it tastes like and the different ways you can cook it. So I'm going to include a link in the description to George's video that came out this morning. Watch it. It's great. Um, as always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. All right. Here we go, guys. And... Uh, this is the attraction today. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Uh, it's the sea robin roe. This is, I think we kept about 10 uh, medium to larger sea robins. And this was what was left of uh, the roe. This is half. Uh, George from Hellenic Cabins or Hellenic uh, Snack Bar and Restaurant took the rest. This is going to be a very simple recipe. I've never done this. Like 10 years ago, a buddy of mine cooked this up. He's a French chef. I thought it was delicious. We're going to try it on our own. George told me if you want to keep it simple, uh, simple ingredients. Uh, we're using some grapeseed oil to cook, a little bit of Mrs. Dash to mix in with the uh, with the flour, and, and just some uh, cornmeal flour, and uh, we'll get going. All right, again, I, I don't have a thermometer, which is not good, but I've had this uh, cooking for a while, so let's, yeah, it's definitely hot enough. Gonna make a mess here with the flour. Whew. All right. So right off the bat, I do smell the uh, the Mrs. Dash, and I have, like I said, no experience cooking this. Um, we're gonna, this is very much gonna be trial and error. And this was literally just uh, a couple of minutes on each side. The cornmeal crisp nicely, and the roe itself uh, cooked up nicely. Now let's give it another, another minute or two on this side. All right, guys, it's been a couple minutes. Uh, for better or worse, here we go. Let's get close. It's still very hot. So I'm cutting it. And yeah, I mean, the, the inside did cook, which is good. That was my concern that I'd be eating uh, raw egg. All right, here goes nothing. Okay. It's not bad. I don't know if I keep it again. <laughs> um, 
It's a harmless taste. It tastes like a crab cake. Um, it's not bad. Um, is it worth the effort of extracting them? I don't know. Try another piece. I taste the Mrs. Dash, and I'm wondering... I remember it having a salty, briny taste, and I'm not getting that now. And I think if I did it over again, maybe do it without the, uh, without the seasoning. But, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I know Chef George is going to do a, a recipe he wants to try, so we'll compare that one. I'm going to post the link in the description to his. This is not bad, but I don't know if I'd go through the trouble. It's, 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 it's just a kind of a bland taste. I mean, it's, it's not that bad looking on the inside. It's not horrible. It's just, it's just bland. You yeah. know? Okay. Well, there you go. See Robin Row. There you go. Would I keep it again? Probably not. But look at these picks. This is Chef George. The first pick is uh, C. Robin Row. Uh, looks amazing. It tasted good. And then the second pick coming up are actually C. Robin fillet skewers wrapped in bacon that he raved about. Check out his video. Interesting, uh, in his video, he mentions in the Hamptons, uh, C. Robin fillets were selling for, I think, $19 a pound, which is insane. Uh, check it out. A much better job than I did cooking these up. Uh, and hey, you may want to keep them and try them. I'm telling you the fillets themselves are not bad. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like wacky content like this, please hit that subscribe button.